In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can make localized brightness adjustments using the dodge and burn brush found in HDR Expose 3 and 32 Float version 3. I'll go down to my dodge and burn panel here. I'm going to click on the dodge button and I've set my exposure to a value of half a stop. I'll increase the size of my brush. I'm also going to increase the feather of the brush. This will make the brush softer. Finally, the flow amount determines what percentage of the full exposure is applied with each brush stroke. Let's leave this at 33%. Now, if I want to go over and brighten this area of the train car, I'll simply brush over it with my dodge brush. And you can see that I'm increasing the brightness and not affecting the colors. So there's no color shifts. So it's a simple brightness adjustment being made to this part of the train. Another thing you'll notice is that I have my maximum density limitation set to limit by exposure setting. In this case, I've set my exposure setting to half a stop. So regardless of how many times I paint over the same area, it'll never get brighter than half a stop. If I want to work with an additive brush, I can select the additive button. And when I do this, the image will get lighter or darker, depending on how many times you brush over it. Limiting the exposure setting is actually a nice feature because it prevents you from overshooting your target. Let's try a burn operation now to darken the image. I'll select my burn brush. And again, I'll go with a, a half a stop in density. I'll set my brush size to about 100 pixels. And now I'm going to go over and brush over the roof of the train in order to darken it. And again, you can see this is being applied up to a maximum of minus half a stop. I can switch the panel on and off to see the effects before and after. This is what we started with, and this is the result after the dodge and burn operation. And that's how easy it is to create localized brightness corrections inside of HDR Expose 3 and 32 Float version 3. Thanks for watching.